Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading and this is for Sagittarius Ascendant. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, what is this happening? Someone do not want to talk. Cross watchers, if you're new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing. Or, yeah, for those cross watchers, again, if you think that I am describing you and the situation here is a total opposite of you, then this is not you, okay? Um, just because you are connecting with Sagittarius, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. Again, for those of you who is new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I'm doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be full reading. If you also want to know your lucky numbers and lucky color dated January the 1st to January the 7th, follow me on Instagram. If you also want to know your financial forecast for the month of January, follow me in Instagram as well. If you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. If you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, speak a card and channel messages, might as well subscribe to the other channel, time is to roll 111. And let's begin. Sagis, your first card is the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Two major arcanas right off the bat. I can see here that something here is about to happen and the changes will be in your favor. You won't even have to lift a finger. You might be connecting with a cancer or has a cancer placement in their chart or you have a cancer placement in your chart. I can see here that this person is having their 180 degree turn. Say for, let's say that this person's going away from you and 180 degree turn, coming back for no reason at all. You know, this person will not also understand why they're about to come back. That's the consequence of it because they might come back here without even knowing the reason, but they would love to. It's kind of like a poke in the universe. Hey, you're, you're going to a different direction. Um, I can see here that you might also be connected with an Aquarius or has an Aquarius placement in their chart, or you have an Aquarius placement in your chart. Okay. This could be you who's coming back, or this could be the cross watchers. Just a little disclaimer. Cross watchers, if you feel like this is your reading, so be it. And Sagis, if you feel like you are in the cross watcher side, that is okay. I'm not reading which side you add, I'm reading the energy. But this person would love to come back here. Like, you know, when you when you leave the, your house and for no reason that you think that you forgot to to um to do something i always do this you know i always unplug all those um appliances you know that needs electricity i know that i unplugged it but when i'm about to leave when i'm about to lock the door i'll get to open it again and check it you know i you, it, this is kind of like I have to check it several times, more than twice, more than three times. So these persons kind of like have that feeling. This person is going to come back and this person would love to, I think I need to put my person in a pedestal. I think I need to put my Sagittarius in a pedestal for no reason at all. I told you, you know, this person's not going to say no for an answer. This person would really come back here and hey, I know. I know I did something wrong, but I, I'm going to do this um, because I need to for no reason at all, for no reason at all. You know, see, I told you, it 
they need to be enlightened why they need to come back but either way this person is going to come back they might be still in a limbo do not know what to do do not know what's happening it's kind of like there is really a poke in the universe but then again for some reason this is also what you wanted for this person to come back in your life I can see here that this person will not change yet it's not changed yet because they are on a hangman you might be connecting with a Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart say so I told you this is your happiness you're gonna be happy here without even lifting it you will also wonder why are you coming back you don't know what you do this person don't know what they're doing now you have to make a better judgment yes they're gonna come back that's for sure I can assure you that but they are there's still clouds in their heads you know i saw angel uh, number 555 please comment down below what's angel number 555 means um but i know that that resonates in this reading i would appreciate if you can comment down below what's angel number 555 you know that in your intuition this person's going to come back and you also know that this person is not clear on their intentions so I can see here that this person is already in the verge of doing something, is already in the verge of probably jumping into a conclusion or probably, let's say, doing this, wanted to come back, already on their way of coming back here. I told you, they're gonna just knock on your door, just message you, hey, I'm back, let's start all over again. So for what, right? Why are you coming back? If you're gonna ask, I don't know, I just need to. So this is the kind of like, they don't know what they're doing, but they their soul just needs to, they know that they need to do it. Let's clarify here the chariot. You know, there is a travel here also. Probably this person would also ask you to go out, um, have this out of town. Um, Seven of Swords is really showed, showing up here. Um, and the Emperor. Well, I can see here, so you won't even have to lift a finger. You might also be connecting with Aries or has an Aries placement in your chart or they have an Aries placement in their chart. As you can see, this person, wait, what? what I, why are you here, right? This person's not really going to, I don't know. I just need to be here. I just need to be with you. You know, la muerte, okay? And... I can see three of pentacles. This person will come back here and will have a lot of observation, probably in themselves also. And I can see here that this person will have the realization while they are with you. So you are the key to their enlightenment. Um, this is your reading here, Scorpio again. Right. This is your reading here, Sagittarius, and if you resonate with this, congratulations. If you want to go in-depth, you can book a personal reading with me. If you're okay with this reading and you just have a question or two, there's a link in the description box. Click that link, you'll be routed to my page, type in your questions, and then click submit. 500 likes for this video, and your next video will be full reading. I hope to see you also in the other channel, Time by Row 111. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you in the next reading. Goodbye.